you have two major things going against your child's development. You have the visual impairment, but you also have movement impairment going on. And so you're trying to you're trying to make progress with the vision, but at the same time your child also has movement impairments. And so they're both interacting and really making it hard for you to see progress in your child's development, not only in their vision, but also in their development. And so what can you do really to help your child have the best opportunity for visual success is you want to help their physical development as well. But the key between the two is that you want to give them the experience of time dictated development. Everyone says, oh, every baby develops at their own pace, okay? Baby dictated development is poor development. Now there's some kids that can develop that way and they still have a great life. But at the same time, more and more that's becoming the exception versus the rule. It's just, it, it, it's the new reality that we are facing. Whereas in the past, like that, that it was an exception to have so much difficulty. So, so to have special needs, really to have special needs. And that's just not the case anymore. And so when you're looking at all of these success stories, you're getting sometimes a false sense of security is because you're, you're seeing someone to have done great things, but you are not addressing the movement impairments that your child also has in coordination with their visual impairments. And so I, that's going to take a minute for you to wrap your head around that. So as you're working with your child, I want you to just sit back and think about how you're addressing both things. You could be doing therapy. You could be doing, um, you could be doing all you can medically to support them. But at the same time, you're going to reach a point where you're like, there's got to be something more. I need to be seeing more progress because guess what? You're burnt out. There's just not enough hours in the day to address your child's development like we have in the past. Therapy has been a great thing, but you have to do something different than therapy. Like it just is not going to yield the same results. And you don't have the time that it takes to even get, even get a little bit of progress from doing therapy. Some can get a lot, but at the same time, it all comes down to how movement impaired the child was in combination with the visual impairment. And so as you're in this channel, you're going to learn more about movement impairment as we are focusing on visual impairment. But if you really want to get into understanding uh, movement impairment, you want to go to the YouTube channel Movement Lesson. Okay, there are just awesome videos on there that talk about movement and development. Vision, your child's vision is, is key in increasing your child's ability to move. At the same time, your child is having movement impairments and you need to understand that in combination with the CVI. So make sure you like and subscribe to this channel because it will be, fo be focused on visual impairment, but you also want to have the other channel to marry the two aspects of development, uh, vision impairment and movement impairment and help you understand how to combine both. You'll see me on the other channel as well. I do help Michelle there. Uh, this is my own personal passion to be with you on CVI, uh, just be focusing on CVI. But, um, it also, the founder of that uh, modality, her son has um, has CVI, and so she very much understands uh, CVI, how to work with it, things like that. So I hope you found this video educational, and I will catch you in the next video. Put in the comments videos that that you want to see, questions that you have, and I will make sure I do videos on those. Thanks.